36 years ago, the movie Hoosiers became a hit. And when it was time to make another classic sports movie the following year, Hollywood came calling once again. Our race deal takes a look at the filming of a legendary baseball film in today's Throwback Thursday. <laughs> October 1919, the fall classic, the World Series. The heavily favored Chicago White Sox somehow lose to the Cincinnati Reds. Who loses to the Reds? Well, it turns out a bunch of White Sox players threw the series in an effort to get big payoffs from gamblers. Former sportsman Dave First covered that 1919 World Series for WRTV. I'd ask him to share some of his eyewitness stories, but I don't want to bother him right now. So instead, let's go back 35 years to old Bush Stadium here in Indy, where parts of the story of what came to be known as the Black Sox scandal was told. It was the filming of the movie Eight Men Out. Charlie Sheen played Rick Wild Thing Vaughn. Oh, my bad different and better movie. Charlie Sheen played White Sox outfielder Happy Felsch. He was one of the players who intentionally played badly during that 1919 series. He was in on it, but he figured, uh, you know, it was the type of thing he was just going to go along with. They're only making two or three grand a year at Tops, and um, he saw it as a way to make some cash. They're playing for one of the cheapest owners of all time, you know, so. And our Indiana Broadcast Hall of Famer Linda Lupier watched as the crew transformed Bush Stadium into Cincinnati's Redland Field. There are a lot of problems involved in transforming a stadium like Bush Stadium back to 1919. We're doing this for a relatively low budget that what we wanted to do was make sure that every, pretty much every cent counted. Well, despite the penny pinching, eight men out lost at the box office. Maybe, just maybe, it had to do with the film and the book it was based on being wildly inaccurate. So much so, the Society for American Baseball Research devotes a long, long web page to all the eight men out falsehoods. Say it ain't so, Joe. Nope, that scene didn't happen either. Still, nothing wrong with Tinseltown coming to town, even if the lights and cameras didn't generate as much action as the movie makers had hoped for. With Throwback Thursday, Ray Steele.